We're going to find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position as we, as we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here today. Tummies are tucked in at the navel. Spinal cords are nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having that nice elongated spine helps us relax and soothe. It also helps with low back pain. As we relax those shoulders down away from the ears, this allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. As we slightly gaze down or close our eyes, if that feels good for us, taking a nice deep breath in, Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body as we breathe our palms to seated prayer. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. Silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we take a nice breath, exhale, breathing our palms to the side, breathing them up towards the heavens. Fingertips are flowing towards the ceiling. Our palms are not together. They are separated. Noticing how this feels. Nice deep stretch as the fingers flows to the heavens. Shoulders flows up towards the ears. Interlacing the fingers with that pointer finger pointing up, allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Noticing how this feels as our shoulder blades get closer together. Our heart chakra lifts up. You may feel this in your lumbar back. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, separating those palms. We're going to allow that right hand to breathe downward towards the earth. As we lean towards the right, our left arm flows over our head, slightly gazing up at the heavens, if that feels good. Feeling this stretch in the side body. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to center, allowing the left palm to connect to the earth. As our bodies lean towards the left, right arm flows up over the head, feeling that stretch in the side body, optioning to gaze up at the heavens if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center, connecting the right palm to the earth with both of our palms connected to our yoga mat. Keeping that back straight, heart chakras lifted, chin is up. We're gonna use this time to simply connect with our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us, right here, right now, in our present moment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we breathe our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly, the bottoms of our feet are connecting. In the diamond, our feet are further away from the body. In the butterfly, our feet are closer to the body. This is a hip opener. We can connect our palms to our hands, I'm sorry, to our feet or our ankles as we slightly hinge forward. Noticing that when we hinge forward, you'll feel that stretch a little deeper in the inner thighs. Maybe we can allow our shoulders to melt down and our head to connect or come closer to our feet if that feels good. Noticing that we'll feel it a little deeper in the inner thighs. You may also feel it in your lumbar spine, your lower back. With the eyes, slightly gaze down the closed. Four breaths. Two 
two more breaths. Using our hands to lift our bodies up, we're going to breathe our legs together, coming into a staff pose. Legs are parallel side by side. Backs are straight, heart chakras lifted, chin is up. We're going to relax here with our toes pointing downward towards the earth or upwards towards the heavens, whatever feels good for you. Breathe in, exhale. Two breaths. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into a seated half forward fold. And if we choose, we can come into a complete forward fold, connecting our hands to our ankles or the bottoms of our feet, allowing our shoulders to melt forward, allowing our heads to relax downward towards our knees. This here is a lengthening pose. It is a full body stretch. With our eyes gazed down to close, three breaths. Two breaths. Slowly exhaling up, coming back into that staff pose. And we're going to come nice and wide-legged here. Coming into our wide-legged position. And we're going to slightly hinge at the hips. Just breathing our hands downward towards our legs. We're going to slightly hinge forward. Noticing that when we hinge forward, you will feel that stretch behind your legs and your hamstrings. Allowing the shoulders to melt down, allowing the head to relax downward towards the earth if that feels good. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up, we're going to breathe our legs slightly together as we breathe this right foot inward towards that left inner thigh. We're going to sit our bodies up nice and straight as we allow our bodies to slightly lean towards the left. Our hand, our left hand comes down, our left thigh. And we can slightly twist and gaze over that right shoulder, feeling that slight spinal twist. And we can option to extend this right arm up above our heads and over our ears as we are gaze up or over that shoulder. We can also option to wrap this right arm behind our backs as we twist and gaze over that right shoulder. We can hold this for breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, straightening our legs as we breathe this left foot inward towards that right inner thigh. Backs are nice and elongated as we slightly lean over that right thigh, that right leg. Hand comes down our leg towards our ankles or our feet. We're going to slightly twist and gaze over that left shoulder, gazing up at the heavens. Optioning to extend that left arm up in the air over the head. And feeling this twist and feeling the side stretch. We can also option to wrap this left arm around our backs as we gaze over that left shoulder. Whatever feels best for you, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, straightening our legs. We are in that wide-legged pose. We're going to hinge at the hips. We are stretching and lengthening our hamstrings today. You may also feel this in that sciatica. We're going to allow that head to drop down, shoulders, chest comes towards the earth. Nice, deep stretch. Allowing those shoulders to relax down. Three more breaths. Two breaths. 
Exhaling up. We're going to breathe our legs together. And we're going to breathe our knees into our chest. We're going to position our bodies. And let's come on to our backs. Breathing our knees into our chest. Hugging them in. And we're going to allow our knees to just twist to the left. Recline spinal twist. Fill the next spinal cord. Twist. Relax and soothe here. Knees are twisted to the left. Our right arm is out to the side like a lowercase t. And we can option to gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that right shoulder. Allowing the shoulder blades to relax to the yoga mat. Eyes are gazed downward or closed. And we can have a little fun in this pose if we choose that leg that's on the top. We can connect it. Connect our left hand to our right toe and straighten that leg and feel that stretch. And if we choose, we can allow this right foot, if our body allows, to relax downward towards the earth. And this is what we spoke about earlier. We called it the recline spinal twist, but also the hand to toe because the hand is connected to the toe. And just feel this twist in the body. You'll feel it in your back. Just hold on to this pose. Take a moment to notice how it feels in the body. Take a moment to notice how we can variate our body in this pose to feel good for us. Everybody's body is different and it's going to look and feel different in a pose. Doing what feels best for you. My voice is just a guide. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing our knees into our chest, filling our bodies, hugging and soothing. We are showing ourselves a little self-love here. Two breaths. As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, knees flows to the right, feeling that spinal twist. Our left arm flows out to the side like a lowercase t. And we can option to gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that left shoulder. Feeling that spinal cord twist, soothe and decompress. With the shoulder blades connecting to the earth, if that's accessible to you, eyes or gaze downward or closed. As we allow our bodies to fully relax. And with that leg on top, we can option to connect the right hand to the left toe and extend that leg out nice and straight. Maybe it's up in the air or maybe we twist a little deeper and allow that leg to come towards the earth. So that bottom leg is slightly bent. That right leg is connecting the hand to the toe and it's twisted to the left. I'm sorry, to the right. This is a hand to toe position. It's also, I like to call it an inversion of a spinal twist. Just listening to your body, maybe noticing how one side feels different from the other. Honoring and respecting your body and doing what feels best for you. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging those knees into the chest. Let's make it nice and wide-legged. Wide-legged. Knees are up beside our bodies, and our feet are kind of coming up in the air. Let's flow into a happy baby. Hands come between the thighs, up to the sides, connecting our hands to our feet. Happy baby. This is also a hip opener. 
We can option to pulse our leg left and right above our heads. Or we can just stay still in our happy baby. We also can rock, swaying from side to side in that happy baby, using the earth to relax and soothe that spine. Whatever you choose, we're going to hang out here as we are opening up these hip flexors. Five breaths. Three breaths. Allowing the body to relax. Exhaling out as we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall. We're going to point our toes towards the heavens. Just pointing those toes upwards, feeling that stretch. Legs on the wall, a.k.a. waterfall pose. And we can option to breathe our hands to the bottoms of our legs and breathe our legs over our head, feeling that stretch. We can also option to flow into a plow pose if that feels good for you. And we're lengthening and stretching the body here. You may feel this in your lumbar spine. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to legs on the wall. Waterfall pose. Legs are up. Toes are pointed towards the heavens. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale. Holding this pose as we allow our legs to flow to the side. Wide legged, reclined spinal. Wide legged stretch here. Reclined. And just fill in. How this is inside of the inner thighs, just allowing the body to stretch, pointing those toes with the ballerina's foot, if that feels good. We also, we also can breathe our feet closer to our bodies and connect our hands to our toes if we're able and feel that stretch a little deeper. You'll feel it in your sciatica. We're going to hang out here for four breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, breathing the legs together, hugging our knees into our chest. Just for a second, we're going to cross our feet at our ankles and we're going to come up to a boat pose. Hanging out here in a boat pose. If we have issues getting in that boat pose or have clients who have issues, we can ask them to breathe their hands underneath their thighs and just hug their wrists or interlace their fingers. Or we can just have our hands out to the side in that boat pose. And this is a little deeper of a boat. Or we can extend our legs up in the air in that boat pose. Maybe we can take a moment to notice how each of these feel in our bodies. Breathing our hands underneath our legs. Noticing how this feels and notice how it's a little bit easier on the body. Keeping our core nice and tight. Our backs are straight. Two more breaths. Now we're going to uninterlace our hands, lift our legs up just a little more, and breathe our hands to the side. We are gaze forward, heart chakras lifted, chin is up. We are in another boat pose. We can also option to extend those legs up in that boat. Four breaths. Two breaths. We're going to hold this boat. We're going to breathe our legs apart, connecting our hands to our feet. Straightening that back, hands to feet. We're going to lift our feet up and down, just having some fun playing around. Feeling that stretch. Now we're going to find that pause here. We still have our hands and our feet connecting as we extend that left leg out to the side. We are in our boat pose variation. This is another boat pose, boat pose variation. We can bend our knee if needed. 
listening to your body. Two more breaths. Exhaling that foot back in as we straighten out that opposite leg to the side, feeling that stretch. Optioning to bend that knee if needed. Otherwise, keeping that leg straight. Two more breaths. Exhaling that feet back in. Hanging out here for a couple moments. Core is tight. Back so nice and lengthened here. As we straighten that left leg out. And we're going to straighten that right leg out. Keeping in mind that we can bend our knees if needed. We are in a boat pose variation once more. We also call this bear pose. Bear pose when bears are playing with their feet and their hand. With our back straight, core tight. Gaze forward. Five breaths. <coughs> this is a balancing pose. It works our core. It keeps our back straight. Two more breaths. Let's try to come nice and wide-legged if we're able. Let's breathe those legs out even further to the side if we're able. Or we can breathe our legs together. Notice how that feels when we breathe our legs and work together. Yes. Two more breaths. Exhale into a bound position, diamond or butterfly. Slightly hinging at the hips, allowing the shoulders and head to melt downward towards the earth. Just taking a moment to allow the mind and body to relax and soothe. With the eyes gazed down to closed, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, using our hands to press our bodies up, using our hands to breathe our legs inward. Let's cross our feet at our ankles and come into a come into a tabletop pose. Hands and knees, knees are hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth. <sighs> and we're gonna drop that tummy down to that cow. Noticing how this feels in that lumbar spine with that chin slightly up. Exhale into cat, chin comes to clavicle, spinal cord flows up to the heavens. As we do some cat cows to our natural breath. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. We're gonna find our pause at center. We're gonna push the body up to down dog, gazing at the feet. Optioning to walk that dog by pedaling the feet left and right. As we walk this right foot to this right hand, we're going to straighten that leg. Feeling this stretch here. Allowing the head to relax over that thigh. I'm sorry, this is pyramid pose. Just feeling the shoulders, relax down, eyes are closed, feeling that stretch. And we're going to bend that knee coming into that runner's lunge. Holding that pose. So we're going to breathe this right hand inside of our thigh. Then we're going to twist that body towards the right. Right one goes up in the air. Feel the next twist. Low lunge twist. It's actually a revolved twist because our body's twisted towards our thigh. Gazing up at the fingertips. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down, palms are on the earth. Breathe down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking the dog, by pedal on the feet, left to right. As we breathe this left foot to that left hand, coming into that pyramid opposite side, straightening that front leg, allowing the torso to relax over that thigh, head melts down. Allowing those shoulders to completely relax. We are stretching and lengthening here today. Taking nice subtle breaths here. Two more breaths.
Bend the neck, front knee. You're going to come into that lunge. Okay, holding this pose just for a moment. As we breathe this left hand inside of that thigh. If all feels well, we're going to twist that body towards that left thigh. Left arm goes up. Fingertips flows towards the heavens. And if we're able, we're going to gaze up at those fingertips. Balancing, stretching, relaxing here. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, palms flat on the earth. Breathe down, dog. Gazing at the feet. Let's drop down to our dolphin pose, coming on to our forearms, butt axis high in the air. We are gaze at the back of the room. Dolphin pose. Walking our feet closer to our body, if that feels good. This pose here prepares the body for headstand. This is an inversion. We're going to hang out here. Five breaths. Three more breaths. Dropping down to our knees. Let's come into a puppy pose. Torso comes to the earth. Buttocks is high in the air. Our arms are extended in front of us, making it into an extended puppy pose. Palms are flat on the earth. We can option to breathe our palms together and flow our palms over our heads if that feels good. As we take a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt into the earth. Forehead, that third eye chakra is connected to the earth. With our eyes gazed down or closed, if that feels good. May we use this puppy pose to take a moment to self-reflect, to go inward. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment, without judgment. Silent meditation, six natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we spinal wave our bodies out of this puppy pose, using our palms to wave our bodies forward, using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling this spinal wave, it decompresses that spine. Optioning to also allow the neck to flow into this movement here. Three rotations. Two more. Finding that pause, we're going to come on to our cobra. Just coming on to our thighs. Yes. Or baby cobra, bending our elbows. We're closer to the earth. Or cobra, straightening the arms. This is a slight back bend. We are building strength in our arms. Chin is up. Exhale into up dog, untucking those toes, taking those thighs off the earth. We are in that up dog. Just taking a moment to notice how the cobra and the up dog look similar. You see a lot of people get this confused. Up dog, thighs are off the earth. Flowing back down to a cobra, thighs are connected to the earth. We are back in that cobra, taking a nice deep breath. Exhale. As we flow down to a sphinx pose, coming on to our forearms. We are on our forearms. Our shoulders are not shrugged. Our shoulders are away from our ears. Not shrugged. Having control of that body. Heart chakra is lifted. Chin is up. 
Maybe our palms are together and pray our hands if that feels good. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to Cobra. Thighs are on the earth. Heart chakra is lifted. Chin is up. Exhale up dog. Taking those thighs off the earth. Breathe down dog. Gazing at the feet. Shifting that weight forward. High plank. Building strength in our arms, our back blades. Two more breaths. Exhale, back down dog. Three breaths. Two breaths. Walking our hands to our feet, complete forward fold. Lengthening and stretching here, allowing the head to melt downward towards the earth. Four breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale enough to have forward fold, straightening that back. Slightly gaze forward. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice stance, nice and wide. We're gonna flow into a rag doll, allowing the head to drop down, allowing the body to completely relax. Connecting the hands to the shoulders, if that feels good. Optioning to rock or sway that body from side to side here in that rag doll. Noticing that when we rock and sway from side to side, we can feel that hamstring stretch and pull. Really work on the sciatica. You have a client who comes to you with sciatica nerve pain. A lot of these stretching and lifting poses that we do today, that we are doing today, is really good to help stretch and relieve discomfort. Four more breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale into center, wide-legged. Let's come nice and wide-legged here. Pointing those toes slightly outward towards the edges of the mat. We're going to straighten the body, bend our knees, coming into that goddess god stance. Bending those knees. Coming into the cactus hands, if that feels good. And we're going to pulse it up and down, or we're going to rock and sway it from side to side. We are working the lower parts of our bodies here. We are toning, we are firming the quads, the gluteus maximus, the calves. Now we can stay still, that feels good. Staying still in our goddess God stance. We're feeling that burn, four more breaths. Three breaths, two breaths. Exhale up, standing star, stretching those legs, arms are out towards the side. Standing star. Heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down to that goddess god stance. This time we're going to breathe our palms above our heads in that salute. Extended mountain. Palms are not together. Extended mountain. Goddess, extended mountain. Chin is up, heart chakra is lifted. Two more breaths. Exhale and back up to that standing star. Taking a nice deep intentional breath. Exhale. Two more breaths. Exhale and back to that goddess, God stance. Placing your arms in any position that feels best. Six breaths. Out 
Optioning to pause to a rock if you choose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, back up, standing star. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. <coughs> Allowing the body to lean to the right. Left arm flows over the head. Gazing up at the heavens. Feeling the side stretch. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhaling to center. Left arm flows to the side. Right arm flows over the head. Body leads to the left. Slightly gazing up at the heavens. Mm -hmm. Exhale and back to center. Palms are at our side. Let's yogi walk our feet together slightly inward. <sighs> Just hanging out here for a moment. Using this time to check in with self. Noticing how we feel. Right here, right now in our present moment. <clears throat> Breathing our palms at heart center. Yogi walking our feet a little bit closer together. We're going to come down to a yogi squat, just bending the knees and coming down towards the earth. Yogi squats. Palms are at heart center. Backs are straight, tummies are tucked, shoulders relaxed down, away from the ears. <sighs> Taking a nice, deep, intentional breath in. Exhale through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we connect this right hand to the earth, we're going to extend that left arm up towards the heavens, gazing up at the left fingertips, feeling that stretch and that twist. Taking a nice breath. Exhale. Exhale in the left palm downward towards the earth. As we extend this right arm up towards the heavens, gazing up at the fingertips. Breathe in, exhale, two more breaths, exhale and calm down, coming back to the prayer hands, gaze forward, maybe our eyes are gazed down or slightly closed. We're working on our balance. We're working on focusing here. Two more breaths. Connecting both hands to the earth. We're gonna straighten our legs. Complete forward fold. Allowing that head to drop down, feeling that stretch. This is a counter stretch to what we just did. It's allowing the knees to relax and soothe. Eyes are gaze down closed. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to half forward fold, straightening the back, gaze forward. We're going to bend our knees, palms come at heart center, chair pose. Or we can extend our arms in front of us. 
We are working on the lower parts of our bodies a little more, building strength in our legs, quads, gluteus maximus. We're going to hold this. Five breaths. Three breaths. If we are in our extended chair, coming into prayer hands, As we twist the body towards the right, chair pose twist, gazing at the fingertips. Exhale back to center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Exhale back to center. Half forward fold, straightening those legs, backs are straight. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Noticing how that breath relaxes and soothes the mind and body. Two more breaths. Flow into a complete forward fold, dropping that head. Walking the hands forward, feet to the back, down dog. Exhale, high plank. Two more breaths. Breathe, down dog. Exhale, up dog. Thighs are off the earth, heart chakras lifted, chin is up. Feeling this in your lumbar spine. Breathing to cobra, connecting the thighs to the earth. Exhale into baby cobra, bending those elbows. Flow into a space, coming on to our forearms. <sighs> Palms are together, taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Shoulders are not shrugged. Shoulders are away from the ears. Have a control of that body. Two more breaths. Exhale, relaxing the body, flowing the body onto the back. Recline position. Knees to chest. <sighs> Recline spinal twist, left side, knees flows to the left. Fill in that spinal cord twist. Right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. Eyes are gazed down or closed. As we check in with self, noticing how we feel. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into center as the knee slows to the opposite side. Recline spinal twist. Knee slows to the right for me, and my left arm is out to the side. Gazing right back to heavens or gazing over the left shoulder with my shoulder blades. Relaxing towards the earth. Eyes a gaze downward or closed. The mind is relaxed. The body is relaxed. As we use this time to focus on self, noticing how we feel without judgment, just taking notice. Five breaths. Mm -hmm. 
Two more breaths. As we flow into a fetal pose, just breathing those knees inward towards the chest, coming a little deeper onto that side, using our hand or a pillow to relax our neck. Here in our fetal pose, we are going inward, balled up like a baby, taking this time to self-soothe. Taking this time to focus. Going inward. Six breaths of silence. Two more breaths. Mm. Using our top hand to lift our bodies up out of that fetal pose, optioning to stay in fetal if that feels good for you. Coming into any easy seat that feels good for you. I'm going to come into a cow face legs. Backs are straight if we are seated, seating. Tummies are tucked in at our navel. Spine cords are nice and long. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale. Allowing our bodies to twist towards the right, gazing over that right shoulder, spinal twist. Eyes are gazed down or closed. Three breaths. Exhale to center. Spinal twist, opposite side, gazing over that shoulder. Allowing those eyes to relax down. Shoulders are relaxed. Three breaths. Exhale back to center. Palms flows above our head in that salute. Reaching those shoulders up towards the ears as we feel that spine elongate. Heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Exhale down to prayer, palm come heart center. Relaxing those shoulders down. Breathing our palms out to the side, coming back into that extended mountain, seated extended mountain. Palms are not together. Heart chakra is lifted, chin is up. Breathe in, exhale to salute, palm come together. Relax in palms at heart center, seated prayer. Shoulders relax down away from the ears. Maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum, the center of our chest. With the eyes gazed down and closed, may we use this time to Thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you all for allowing me to practice self-care and practice teaching training with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all.
Namaste. Namaste.